As places across the country begin to reopen, something as routine as going to the doctor's office is going to look a little bit different. I'm currently at Dr. Karen Reisner's office. She's a phenomenal orthodontist and happens to be my mom. And her and her team have been working tirelessly for the past two months to renovate their office in order to make it as safe as possible for patients to continue their treatment. Let's go check out what she's been doing. Hi, Em. Thank you so much for coming and making this video for us. I really, really appreciate it. So Em, if you were a patient, you would be sitting in your car and waiting for your appointment. In fact, before your appointment, there's a few things you would do at home. You would have brushed your teeth super duper well, and you would have filled out the electronic forms that we sent you, the health history form and the informed consent form. You will come in wearing a bandana or scarf, and once you're in the office, you will sit down right over here. As you can see, nobody else will be in the weight room. We'll sit right over here and we will take your temperature. This is a non-contact non thermometer that we will be using. So just demonstrate on myself. Once we know that your temperature is okay, we will review the history with you. Make sure that nobody in your family has active COVID-19 or suspected COVID-19. Once we know that everything is okay, we'll ask you to stand up. Do you remember the best part of going to the orthodontist was picking the colors and, and figuring out your color combinations? So we're gonna make you pick your colors from here now. Let us know and some one of my assistants will have them out ready for you and we'll ask you to remove your mask. Once you remove your mask, we're going to give you a teeny tiny bit of a 1% hydrogen peroxide rinse. We will dose it out for you in this little Dixie cup. You will come over here. This was our former toothbrush area, which obviously we're not using because we want to keep aerosols to a minimum. You will rinse and spit right in here, and you will throw the cup away in here in a long contact garbage can. We will then ask you to um, hand sanitize your hands with an alcohol-based hand sanit sanitizer and we will escort you to the operatrice. Obviously we don't have it ready right now but my assistant and I first of all will look like astronauts in our PPE, full PPE from top to bottom and all your instruments would have obviously been sterilized and wrapped and we'll have everything ready for you. You sit down, we will do the orthodontic procedures that are needed for that day. Once we're done, we'll sit you up, you'll put your mask back on, and we will walk you right out of the office. Escort you to the door, and you will leave. Once you leave, we will do our normal sterilizing that we normally do, plus we will have to wipe down all high contact touch areas and then we will call our next patient when the office is ready. As you can see, there have been some changes. So there are no magazines, no games, nothing like that at all. We have installed sneeze guards. So we're trying to make this as, as little touch as possible. We have always done universal precautions. And because of this COVID-19 pandemic, we have gone above and beyond and we've changed our guidelines dramatically for the safety and well-being of not only our staff, but of our patients and community as well. Our mission has, is, and will always be creating beautiful smiles. And I just wanna assure everyone that even though you can't see us underneath our masks and face shields and goggles and head coverings, we have huge big smiles and we are just so happy to see you. Welcome back. Dentists and orthodontists are known for having very sterile and clean offices, but it's clear that amid this global pandemic, Dr. Reisner has taken that to the next level. Until next time, I'm Emma Barnett and this is NextGen News.